it's Christy welcome back to littles and loving it so today I'm gonna be showing y'all how I got these super cute super easy nails done so I'm starting off with my full cover nails I got these from Amazon they are McCart I believe and I'm just taking my this cone shaped bit and I'm etching the inside of the nails um, I started doing this method. I've actually this is actually only the second time I've done it I started doing it because y'all doing like the traditional Acrylic nails. It was just it was taking too long It, it literally take would take me two days to do my nails and I just I couldn't anymore I just couldn't do it y'all. I could not do it anymore So after etching all of the full cover nails, I'm going to take this IBD bonder and I'm going to apply it to my prepped nails. And this is this bonder is the equivalent of like a primer if I were going to be using acrylic products. Um, I'm going to be using Builder Gel today. So I um, put the bonder on my nails and then I cure for 60 seconds. The Builder Gel that I'm using is the IBD Builder Gel in pink and it's like a fleshy kind of translucent pink and then I'm going to take my gel brush and I'm going to take just a tiny bit of gel and put it on my finger and then I put a tiny bit of gel on the um, nail as well and then I place it onto my finger. I always start with my pinky finger and work my way over. So, like I was saying, I started doing this method because it was just taking me too long to do the, the traditional acrylic nails. Um, and this lasted me, these nails lasted me two weeks. I didn't have any issues. And I definitely am going to be doing, doing um, more nails like this. And that's what it looks like. So when I put the nail down, I put it down at the cuticle, but not on the skin. And then I just lay it flat and cure it. And y'all, it's so hard. I'm not going to lie. It's so hard to use this type of lamp to cure these nails. I need the lamp that has the opening on like all three sides. But I worked it out. And what I did was after I cure my nails for 60 seconds each, I, and I got all the nails on my hand, then I went in and cured again for another 90 seconds. all of the nails look like on my hand and now it's time to clip and file unfortunately I could not wear my nails this long although I do think it's beautiful I clip my nails because I need to do my daughter's hair <laughs> and then after clipping the nails I'm just going to take my um, nail file and shape the nails I was going for a tapered square but by the time I finished this set I realized that there was nothing tapered about my nails it was just square completely square which is fine but the shape that I was actually going for was a tapered square I shape the nails then I just file on top uh, to remove the shine now from here if you want you can just polish and go uh, but I prefer to add some kind of hard covering onto my nails I feel like they last longer when I put them when I use the full cover nails so I'm actually going to be using the dip powder today and this is the I think it's CDN dip powder and the liquids that I'm using are by Moravan I got the dip powder from a local beauty supply store and then I got the liquids from Amazon. And y'all, y'all are going to see me use obviously a lot of different products in this video. 
I just used what I had on hand if you are like a professional of course I would not suggest that you mix products like that like I do but these are my hands and they're not for a customer so you I do use a lot of different um, products to get the result that I want so with this dip powder I put two coats of the red on um, and then later on you'll see me top coat with a clear coat um, but you do the first step which is just like a glue you, it's like, I'm pretty sure it's just glue um, and then you dip your nails and then I'll brush them off and then I'll use step two which is the activator and I'll put it on each of the nails and then I let it sit for three minutes and then I repeat the process for the second coat. Now this clear um, powder that I'm going to be using for my glitter nail, um, it's not even like a dip powder y'all, it's just clear acrylic powder. But from my understanding, acrylic and dip powder are the same, it's just the dip powder is a little finer. And so I went ahead and used it because that's what I had on hand. And then I took these tweezers and I attempted to apply this chunky glitter to my nails and y'all this was the only way I could figure out how to do it and it was it was legit giving me a headache so the step one in the um, dip powder system in the liquid it like I said it's like a glue so I figured I glue the nails down um, the, I'm sorry glue the glitter down to the nail and then encapsulate it I definitely wanted to add more glitter than I did but the glue kept drying on me faster than I could get the um, glitter onto the nail and then sometimes like the glitter would get glued to the tweezers and I just I couldn't think of a better way to um, apply the glitter so I really struggled <laughs> with this and I got the glitter from Walmart actually like years ago I think I probably paid like two dollars and fifty cents um, for this chunky glitter After gluing the glitter on, I did two coats of the clear acrylic onto the um, glitter nail to encapsulate it. And I did one coat of clear on all of the red nails just to make sure that when I start the filing process, I don't file off any glitter or any of the red acrylic. y'all this is what my nails look like before I start filing and shaping again and I just filed and filed and filed until I got the shape that I wanted um, and honestly with this dip powder it really doesn't take much filing sometimes I just get it carried away because like filing is like almost therapy to me 
um and i i was definitely trying to get like a really crisp look because with the dip powder um it can kind of take away your shape so i just filed it into a square and then i'm gonna take my um, e-file and i'm gonna just go over the top of the nail again you're not gonna have to file too much with the dip powder you might get some lumps and bumps and you're just going over the nail to uh, clean that up basically I am just using the sanding band to again just smoothing everything out and then after I um, use my sanding band on all the nails then I'm gonna buff the nails and I feel like buffing is more important than using the sanding band because buffing gets rid of all of your all of the ridges in the nails and it almost gives the nails like a silky kind of feeling and, and you want you want the ridges on because once you polish if you have any ridges in the nails it's really gonna show washed my hands oh, off camera of course and now it's time to polish or top coat I'm using the Beatles top coat I'm using the foundation and the top coat you really don't have to use the foundation um, I just use it because um, I thought I was buying two, <laughs> two containers of top coat but I actually was purchasing the foundation and the top coat and there's no point in letting it go to waste so after I put the foundation on all five fingers, I cure for 90 seconds. And y'all, I love, I love this Beatles top coat. I get it from Amazon. Basically everything I use, I get from Amazon. And this top coat is super cheap. I just recently purchased another one. It's like $7.55 with taxes. I, as you can see, I definitely needed another one because I'm tilting this bottle down so that I can get all of the product to come down towards that brush because that was pretty much it for this bottle of top coat. I am using my gelish um, cuticle oil that I've had for probably 900 years I did get this from a local nail supply shop um, and I'm just rubbing this into my nails and then I'm gonna show you guys the final look I absolutely love how these nails came out I wore them at Christmas and they just were so pretty I love the uh, one glitter nail, <laughs> it's like my favorite. I hope you guys like this video, if so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.